Hello everyone, uh, this game comes as a request from a subscriber and as the title would suggest it is, uh, well, uh, the most amazing draw ever played. Uh, it was played between Karl Hampe and uh, Philipp Meitner. Uh, Karl Hampe was a Swiss-Austrian chess master, also a Swiss uh, government official, and uh, he even won the Vienna championship twice, both times ahead of uh, Wilhelm Steinitz. And uh, Philipp Meitner was also a chess master uh, and a lawyer, so both of them pretty strong players. And uh, the game itself, it's, uh, well, it's like something out of a science fiction novel. Uh, you'll just have to see it for yourselves. Uh, so, uh, Karl Hampe has the white pieces and he plays e4. Uh, we have e5, knight to c3, and bishop to c5, the Anderson defense. And here we have a move uh, that will, after this game, uh, be known as the hampe Meitner variation uh, of the Vienna game. Knight to a4. Uh, Forcing this dark square bishop to either retreat to e7 or maybe d6 to block his own d pawn, uh, but white would definitely like to like to exchange uh, his knight for the bishop, for example, if black played a bishop to b6. Uh, but of course, uh, white is practically inviting black to sacrifice the bishop on f2, and it's not really even a sacrifice, so black can easily win the piece back. So he does. Bishop captures on f2 is played. Uh, king captures on f2, and here we have queen to h4 with check. And what do you do here? If you play a move like g3 to block the check, you get queen captures on e4 with the attack on the rook on h1 and also with the attack on the knight on a4. Uh, white is, well, either winning the rook or the knight, uh, either way, uh, black is better here. Uh, so, after this queen to h4 move, uh, black, uh, white king decided to boldly go to e3 and guard uh, the e4 pawn himself. Uh, we have queen to uh, f4 with check, and now uh, if you play a move like uh, king to e2, you get queen captures on e4, uh, again winning the piece back, and well, with the white king being on e2, that's just silly. Uh, so after queen to f4, uh, king to d3 was played, uh, and now black plays d5. Uh, if you play a move like e, uh, e captures on d5, again, uh, you allow queen to d4 check, followed by some bishop to g4 ideas also. Uh, you're allowing black to capture the piece back, and, well, l I mean, look, look at the white king. Uh, much better for black. Uh, so after this d5 move, uh, white gets a plan that he will uh, play his king all the way to b3, uh, play a3, and then uh, make an escape route for the king on a2, and maybe go to b1 and hide. Uh, so he plays qu uh, king to c3. Uh, we have queen captures uh, on e4, and now uh, king to b3. Uh, and now white's idea is to play knight to c3, maybe get the knight back into the game with a tempo and uh, maybe consolidate. Uh, but black doesn't allow this. Knight to a6 is played. And this stops the idea of knight to c3 with the simple queen to b4 checkmate. Uh, this would be very unfortunate for Mr. Carl. Uh, so after knight to a6, uh, he played a3. Now stopping any queen to b4 ideas, and uh, if uh, white uh, if white was able to play uh, knight to c3 and consolidate with uh, king to a2, uh, this might even be playable for white. This would be quite a king walk, but why not? Uh, but black had enough of this. Uh, he said that well, this was a brave uh, king march, uh, but he's not going to allow this knight to get away. And he plays uh, queen captures on a4. He sacrifices the queen. Uh, if you decline the queen with a move like uh, king to a2, uh, black got back the piece and, uh, well, uh, again, he, he's just better. Uh, so you do, have to, you do have to capture the queen. King captures on a4. And now uh, we have knight to c5 with check. Uh, the knight is now checking the white king and also covering the b3 square, so the king cannot escape with b3 and uh, a2. Uh, we have king to b4 and now a5 is played. And, uh, well, uh, does the white really have an option here? Uh, he, he can go to c3 maybe, uh, but uh, that, that would uh, result in a very quick draw. Uh, if, for example, king to c3, then d4 check, uh, king to c4, and then b6, uh, queen to f3 uh, with an attack on the rook, and now bishop to e6 with check, uh, king to b5, bishop to d7 with check, king to c4, bishop to e6 with check, and so on. So definitely uh, a drawn, uh, a drawn variation. So after a5, uh, white decides uh, to go in f even further with the king and play king captures on c5. Uh, so king captures on c5 is played, and now knight to e7. Uh, 
Uh, black is defending the d5 pawn, and now uh, his pawns are protecting e4, d4, c4, and b4. So the king is cut off uh, <laughs> all, all the way uh, to the other half of the board. <clears throat> uh, we have bishop to b5 with check, and now king to d8. And uh, here, if white's not careful, uh, black will play b6, and this will be checkmate. Uh, because the knight is covering the c6 square. And uh, bishop to c6 is played. This is the only move that stops this checkmate. Uh, you, you have to give up the bishop to make room for your king on b5. Uh, we have b6 now. And uh, king to b5 is played. Uh, what happens? Uh, well, uh, nothing happens because you, you can't really play anything else. So, uh, so king to b5. Uh, we have knight captures on c6. King captures on c6. And the bishop to b7. Uh, inviting the white king to go in, even further into this position, uh, but if this king captures the bishop on b7, this would be very unfortunate for him, as if king captures on b7, you get king to d7. Now the threat is rook h to b8 with checkmate, and you can prolong uh, this with maybe queen to g4 with check, but after king to d6, uh, there are no more useful checks, and uh, well, uh, rook h to b8 is unstoppable. Uh, so after bishop to b7 check, white saw that he can't really accept this uh, nice bishop on b7, so he played king to b5. And here, uh, uh, Mr. Meitner, Meitner uh, got another idea. He plays bishop to a6 check now. And, uh, well, what do you play here? Uh, you can go back to c6, but then you get bishop to b7 again, resulting in a draw. So uh, black offered white to, to try and... Uh, Play this game by playing uh, king to a4, but this would be a terrible mistake because after bishop to c4, uh, there is no defense against the b5 checkmate. Uh, whatever you play, for example, b3 or b4, doesn't really matter. Uh, black simply plays b5, and uh, this comes with checkmate. Uh, so after bishop to a6, uh, white played king to c6, and we have bishop to b7 check again, and in this position, uh, players agreed to a draw. And, uh, well, uh, so the Immortal Draw game was created. So, quite a fascinating game, and uh, I really like that, uh, well, this is today known as the as the Meitner Hampe variation, or the Hampe Meitner variation, and, uh, well, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, enjoyable draws, but this one really, really tops everything. So, yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. And if any of you are able to find uh, a decent photo of Mr. Meitner or Karl Hampe, uh, please do share in the comment section uh, so I can replace uh, the thumbnail photo. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you soon.